Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. A Spokane fugitive is now behind bars in western Washington, accused of brutally murdering a young woman. The manhunt for Anthony Garver started back in March when he was released from federal prison and then failed to check in with his probation officer. Kex y Annie Bishop live in our newsroom. She's been following Garver's story for years now. Annie? Well, since 2006 when he threatened to blow up a federal building in Spokane and kill a judge. In the past seven years, he's been in and out of prison, making headlines as the center of not one, but two manhunts. Now he's charged with murder. A brutal crime scene in Lake Stevens, Washington, is what finally put an end to a nationwide manhunt for Spokane native Anthony Garver. This is Garver in court today, at times interrupting his own attorney and the judge, even denying at first his own identity. Garver's criminal history and documented mental illness dates back nearly a decade. In 2006, he was convicted of having ammunition after being committed to a mental institution. He walked away from parole two times in 2009 and in 2010. In 2010, he was then convicted of leading Montana State Police on a high-speed chase. And in 2011, in a sentencing recommendation, the federal government argued, quote, that Garver is not likely to have a successful re-entry into the community. But yet in February, Garver was released from prison again. Now he's accused of stabbing Philippa Evans Lopez two dozen times and slitting her throat at this Lake Stevens home. Philippa's mom now searching for answers. I don't know what he said or did, but you know, she, she trusted too much. And the State Department of Corrections says it was up to the feds to set Garver's release conditions. But when I talked to the Department of Justice tonight, it says the state could have filed paperwork to hold Garver and to physically take him out of custody and transport him to Spokane. We hope to learn more, of course, in the days and weeks ahead. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4. Oh, thank you, Annie. And we'll continue to bring you those latest developments on Garver's arrest on TV, online, and on News Radio 920.